I want to play this uh, interview uh, granted to BBC well, by this man, not, you know, that um, his house was burned in Imo State. And in that process, his wife got, you know, the fire touched his wife or now late wife. Eventually the woman died. And that, you know, while I was watching this, this really indeed broke my heart. And I decided as a mark of respect to pay my own respect to the family as well. And to say, may her soul rest in peace. And may anyone who had hand in, in, uh, in her death also receive their own fair share of the law of karma. Now, let's watch this together to see this. Mamu, no stroke. Na azo ndo, umuye abo. Na azo ndo nyangwa no wenke. Site na oku ndi ame munye nula anye. Ne ngwe hu inyanyi me. Aha mo bo sonde, oke bata. Abo mo nyi zombe. Then a uh, good uh, local government area of Imo State. Oh, I mean, uh, about a Friday, about eight of uh, October. I got a more we map one more similar way. Her name, uh, there, there, and there, youth were open. In Cape Batara, and there, magic, born a youth, and there, the youth, the book, and there, so. Then, damn it, now, Mamma, as a quan, and one do to her babata. How bore a sick girl and I on the army, see a bico. Now, when you do to her babata, Ulani. Now, for many of you, and uh, for the benefit of my viewers, international viewers who do not understand the word, the language being spoken here, um, for those who do not understand, uh, sorry, understand the word, um, what is being said here is very simple. Um, the wife was at home with the aged mother who had stroke in 2014. And suddenly the military men came into their house and said that someone ran into that property, obviously, you know, into their compound. And she said, no, they saw no one and no one was there. They knelt down begging the army, knowing that the army in the manner they act, that something could go wrong. They knelt down begging the army um, even the woman who had stroke, who could not move. And um, somewhat, the army now left them in the house, went out and set the house ablaze. She was able to rescue the mother. Uh, that is the mother-in-law. She was able to rescue her own kids. But in the process, her clothes caught up with fire. Now, she got about 45% of her body was burned and which eventually led to her untimely ndia me were egbe to ma ha abo si ha no wo na ha kpopota ha na aga babu ha yo wa so ngbe ndia me na ngwezi ha ga eme ya mezi ha apu zi ga wezi ulo tu nyezi oku mba mu nyina ulo oku nwe mu na mamu nwere stroke ke mu 2014 mamu cannot walk except with the help of stick Onya ami enwe ho bi ebere na lekwe na onya amego agade and ojira ho bo yoku na elegizi na bata zebe mamu ha na aga ka nwe mu na adozi mamu na adoku mu ya abo ka aputa na ya bo oku so ko oji si ke doputa zie mamu doputa kwa no me o ma zu to oku si metezie akwa uyi na ho so o se ba ho ka oku ha si bo e ba ya ka hwa ni le so, if you have a 
ka fu number but mo se mo so kwa mo mo abuso ni asi mi e no mo abuso ni osi o gba mo ga na hospital no nearby the village izombe neba ho ka nwe mo no mo ga akporo nwe mo na ha jishili ke kpoti e ba na oku ubari nke di of ma so mem no ya ike gwom ye mezi ma ba ezi moto bruzi moto ha ga zi ebe ha ono na ulo ogu bruzi e ga zi na fmc owere ono dia nu lo ogu na mbu mba anyi bira on friday night eating ye drip adiro izi maka na wehe be akwara ya nile bacha inside due to oku ogbuba mana haji si ike ba le anwota akwara na abali ya when I catch you for after I make a test on Saturday, the doctor will move on now. We are moving with forty-one percent bone in her body. So on the day, I do want ma. You know, cool, but but me who is ma ake abua, mo biye ma zwe. Doctor, me kweka ma na ono kwa hume to takwa ya u ume jeni me. Mongo moni ano even no kumu kono wa. So, I don't know if it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Any record whatsoever. I have not been in any criminal activity. I've never been mischievous. I've not been a nuisance. So, I may be a good thing. Iti ebe ma kana hero raro, acho mi ezire ezire na umu yem. Okay, so you have listened to this. See the reason this is this has no connection to what I want to talk about this evening. But again, of what use would I be talking about the things that happen at the larger scale, whereas at the macro, you know, the the macro level, or rather the micro level that uh, these things are still happening this as i mean now this is not any other medium that you can say that this is fake news this is from a reliable source and this is from the bbc Igbo service uh that you sometimes hear when people say that bbc is biased in that sense i laugh because many of us do not understand what it means to verify news you would think it's just sharing nonsense online unverified but here is a man whom you know he had a family again for not for one second do i make any 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 argument for anyone you know if there were some criminalities in the in an area of course the military should go after criminals get them when if alive then take them to the law court you know take them through the due process if the court of competent jurisdiction you know jails them so be it but at least by not killing anybody what it means is even if there is a miscarriage of justice then the person is still alive for the wrongs to be corrected but not when you come in, you're walking into a civilian space. I keep arguing on this platform anywhere I go. There is no need and there is no reason why military would have anything to do within a civilian space. It is an aberration. That's why we have the police. That's why we have the military police, you know, which we call model police or some call them MOPO irrespective of the nomenclature we do not need and we do not you know because the military these are men and women who are trained to basically um, shoot at sight and what it means is that once they come out there and they see people they behave in, in manners that you think why what are they doing there they shouldn't they you know, send them maybe to Zambiza or wherever, where, where you have the bandit. Look at the videos coming out where people are being kidnapped in broad daylight at the um, Kaduna Abuja Highway. Yet, can't we station the military there? And sometimes when you see these pictures, you begin to wonder, 
or sorry, these videos, like the one we published yesterday and day before yesterday, and you begin to ask yourself, where is the role of helicopters? Where is the role of drones? Because you can see these people just being kidnapped, gone into the bush on the right-hand side or on the left-hand side. And because this is just bush, when you stand at the same level, the bush covers them. But if we are smart-thinking people and we tackle these people from the air, you basically be looking at them where they are working. So I don't understand why you know, who are, leaders can't even engage their brains. Sorry. You know, so these things, sometimes I just, I just get tired. But, you know, before I move away from this particular one, I would say the people of Imo State, I think, please, it's time to stand up and hold your leaders to account. When I say leaders, all your elected or selected or, or Supreme Court leaders, whatever nomenclature they come, Please, it's time to hold them to account. I wonder what the Imo State House of Assembly and those who claim to represent the people, what they're actually doing in their house. I wonder, and someone told me the other day, uh, 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 earlier today, that I uh, hope um, Rocha Sokorocha spoke up, uh, about it in the uh, assembly. I said, well, I haven't seen it. But what we are demanding is that it's not too much to for you to speak up for those who you say you are representing, whom you say you are representing their interest. This is too bad. This is too bad, honestly, that people are being killed in this manner. And to the military, remember that I, you know, we do understand that your jobs can be very dangerous. But again, of what use is that for you to be killing innocent people? When you do, you lose confidence of the people. But in this case, it hurts to see houses, huts, shops, sheds, all manner of things being burned because of altercations. This is not... This is not correct. This is injustice. And the reason why we speak up is very simple. The reason why I speak up, it happens in Imo state. There is need for all of us to speak up because it can happen in Anambra state. We must speak up. It could happen in Kaduna. We must all speak up. Remember, many years ago, under Obasanjo, it happened in Odi. In Odi, Timaya sang about it. You know, many of you who do not know what informed Dem Mama Soldier. Dem Mama Soldier. Google that song, Dem Mama Soldier. D-E-M-M-A-M-A -M -M -A, Soldiers. Dem Mama Soldiers. That's what brought about that song. It happened in Zakibian. But I, I think about two, three years ago, uh, during the operation Crocodile Smile, we saw our mothers, our sisters, our kids being defiled and, you know, sexually abused by those who came in to implement Operation Crocodile Smile. It happened in Delta State. It happened in Bayasa State. Rivers is not an exception. Now it's Imo State. We all saw when it happened in Zaria in Kaduna. One thing that unifies us as human race is that we have the same blood run across our, uh, our veins. It's no time to hate one another. It's no time to begin to say it suits them right. No, it suits no one right. Evil is evil, irrespective of who it befalls. Because if we do not speak up now that you and I are still free, walking around, we don't know what will happen tomorrow. Myself, sitting down here, now is 11 minutes, uh, sorry, uh, 14 minutes to 11 here. I don't know who is watching. I don't know if they might jump my fence, of course, which is their normal 
the normal thing they do. They scale fence. They jump in. They try to get you for doing what? Nothing evil. But basically to for speaking truth to power to say enough that this must stop. Because when I say this, it breaks my heart. How do you think that these children will begin to feel when they eventually grow up and ask about their mom and they were being told that soldiers came into their house? Their house, not in Zampisa Forest. Their house, a place of, you know, their place of sanctuary, a place that ought to be kept, you know, holy for the kids. But they saw how soldiers came and burnt their house. And how do you think these children would ever feel? This, you know, call it whatever you want. Some may say it's hate. Some may say, it's, you know, I don't honestly care the name which we call it. All I say is it must stop. Those who are in authorities, those who have powers and connections to make this nonsense to stop, must wedding now, and this nonsense must stop. Again, for those who lost their lives and those who their poor properties were destroyed, I say take heart, because that's the least one can say. And those are brothers and sisters that lost their lives, I say may your souls rest in peace. But we must seek for justice. And justice, it might be, it might take time. But I think there is need for justice. The chief of army staff, of course, you have to call your men to order. And those, the youths who provoke these things, also shed your sword. Because at the end of the day, it can only take two to tango. Please. This madness, this madness must. <laughs>